Hello everyone, welcome back to Lecture 8 Anchor Points. So many, a lot of you have issues with anchors. I've wrote this guide so many times and made so many videos, but yet there's still some difficulties with anchors. Even though it's one of the mo like it's one of the easiest topics in, in studio. Um anchors are just empty objects that you add components to. It's just an anchor script with a tab handler and a box collider that makes the player sit on a wooden bench for example or uh, anywhere literally any chair you can make the player sit on that chair and we are going to use this wooden bench if, uh, as an example you see here we have anchor b anchor a and um and this wooden bench can be found on the essay catalog now let's head back to unity but before we do that actually we are adding more tools or features related to anchors in the upcoming updates for high rise studio which will make the process way easier so this video might be outdated until then but you can still use this method okay so let's head back to unity and start working with anchors now in unity before we start adding anchors i just want to tell you that i made some changes in here um i made the changes to the panels as you can see i moved the hierarchy here moved the project and i i also made it one column instead of two and then I also moved the console, added the asset catalog, you can get it from this button, and kept everything the same except for the simulator. Instead of game, I'm doing simulator. It doesn't really matter, but I can I can keep it game net for now. But yeah, this is how this is how I prefer prefer my game to to, to be. Okay? So let's um, let's start with anchors. Now the first anchor or the first thing I want to explain is that anchors it doesn't always have to be a chair or some somewhere a player can sit instead it can be somewhere the player can stand maybe to take a picture maybe it can be a treadmill where player can run or walk on it so for, for example we have this box right here and we want the player to start running on the cube right to do it we scroll down in the inspector we select the object of course and in here you have a box collider so you don't have to create a new one but you add a component and you search for anchor you select the first one which is anchor script and in here it will ask you to add a tab handler so you can tap on the object so add a tab handler and you have to change the animation from sit to run or walk let's just put run for example and uh, that's pretty much all if for example you have if you have like objects around the cube and you want the player to enter from a specific position for example let's say you want the player to enter from here from this point right here you create an object and you set it here and then you just drag its transform into here which is not really important right now it's, it's different cases remember how we put a start point and an end point it's the same thing in here but that's all so control S to save and then we are going to enter the play mode and see how this works. Okay. So now I am in the play mode. Um if I scroll a bit and I click or tap on the cube, you can see now the player is running. Th now the reason why the player is running in this direction is because of the rotation of the cube and we added the the anchor on the cube itself. So we didn't like create an empty we just added the the whole thing on like the the uh, the cube uh, for example if i rotate the cube i think it's the x position no sorry it's uh yeah it's the y position see now it's rotating the anchor and that's because the anchor is is attached to the cube itself it's not a separate object now let's exit the exit the play mode and let's create some anchors on bench okay so let's go to the asset catalog and search for bench. You can choose whatever bench you want. Um, let's let's go with the with the wooden bench. I've already installed it, but if you don't know how to install it, let me delete it again. One second. So this is the wooden bench that I have. Yeah, just delete it, and I'm going to install it by clicking install. You can select it and install it from here. Now that's done. You can add to scene as prefab, or you can just drag and put this in here right now i don't know why <laughs> this is flipped like that but let's fix it to fix it first you select the y to minus let's actually let's keep it zero and then rotation x to minus 90. there you go that's fixed better okay so we fixed the bench 
Now let's make the player be able to sit on this bench. We are going to do the exact same thing. But now, instead of adding the anchor on top of the bench, we are going to create empty objects. To do it, we go here, right click, create empty, and we call this anchor A, for example, right? Now you can see here that this anchor A is floating. Before we fix its position, let's first add a component, and this component is going to be a box collider. Now once we add the box collider, we have somewhere the player can sit on, and we can even like see the lines so we can align it with the um, with the bench. And if you don't see these lines, you can click on these gizmos right here, okay? Now that's done. What we need to do is add another component, and that component is called anchor, which the main thing. Now once you add the anchors, you have to add a tap handler so the player can tap on the object. So add a tap handler, and that's it. You can again, you can change the animation, but in this case, we are going to use sit. Now that's done, we need to align this anchor with the bench. So let's move it down. Let's move it back. You can see the, I'm looking at this circle. It's like a blue circle or something. So look at that and then move it. Now you can start moving it like using different views, like a 2D view to see where it is exactly. This is the center of the, of the anchor. So we can just move it like that. There you go. Now it's perfect. And if I select like any different orientation, you can see that the anchor is, is perfect right now. You can just view it from different angles and it would always look good. Now, that's done with anchor one or anchor A. Now, if you want to create to have the same anchor on the other side of the bench, what you do is select this one, control D and just move it. So you can select control and keyboard and you can just move it. Now you have anchor A and anchor B. Now let's rename this to anchor B. Oh, and select the first one, go to the little cube and give it a color, for example, orange. And the same goes for this one, just so we can, you know, just so we can tell which one is anchor A and which one is anchor B. Now that's done. There's one more thing. If you want to select an entry, it's again, it's so easy. You just create anywhere, any point here, and you just drag it and put it into the enter form. Uh, enter from I'm sorry and then the or the exit too if we hit play I think we might need to adjust the rotation of the anchor but let's test it and if we click here you can see the player is sitting now you can see we, the the rotation is a bit messed up so you can you can adjust it from the in the play mode so if I go to the play mode select anchor B and um, switch the Y so rotate the Y I think it's uh, you can do it 90 degrees yeah 90 degrees now I'm going to exit the play mode. Remember, you cannot edit anything in the play mode. I'm going to exit the play mode, go to anchor A, put the Y to 90, and then the B to 90. Was it minus 90? No, it was 90, right? Yeah, yeah. Now you can select this anchor and this one by holding shift, and you can drag them and put them in the wooden bench to make them inside the prefab. Now, if I select this prefab and I go to override and I hit apply all, now this prefab will always have anchors. So every time you put this bench, it's going to have anchor A and anchor B. Let's play again. And you can see here that I can still sit and it's, it works perfect. Just remember one thing. This is a really important point. If you create an anchor, and you select the object and you create an empty on the object itself and then you add a box collider this will not work because look at the box collider this is how huge the box collider is and that's not what you want you want the box collider to be as small as this one right here so do not create objects like this on top like like we talked about nested objects instead create the objects outside the main object and then drag them and put them as children or like make it an nested object that was all for today's video i hope you guys learned how to create anchors for the <laughs> for like like the sixth time so i will see you in the next video it's going to be about camera control so stay safe and let me know if you need any help in the comments below